Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a look at some of the parts that I have on my shelf here. Especially all the parts that I have got from eBay or AliExpress or Banggood and other places. And the parts in question are parts for building stuff. So what I want to show you guys today is all the things that I have laying around and potentially could result in a future project or future build video. So let me lay those out and you will see what it's all about. So guys, quite a pile of junk, yes, there is a lot of things here, so let me quickly go through it with you and look at what parts we have, and then if you have any suggestions on what I should do with them in a combination or whatever, let me know down in the comments and I will take a look at it and see if that's a possible project. We have a couple of audio gear equipment here. Um, an amplifier with Bluetooth and two speakers, and I have two sets of them. And if you don't remember, I did build a Bluetooth speaker a while back with 18650 cells. If you haven't seen that, check that video out. I also have two smaller amplifier boards here available for a project, including a larger one that I do intend to use for something interesting, I hope. Uh, I also have those micro amplifiers here, phono and stuff. I have many of them, so I actually intend to use them for something as well. I'm not sure of what yet. I have this 8 channel logic analyzer, still not used. And down here, I'm not really sure what this is really now. I'm pretty sure this is an 8 channel multiplexer of some kind. Uh, that's for future Arduino project. Bluetooth um, to serial converter. And over here, I have one type of sensor, the CJMCU, and I have a 16 channel multiplexer. No, it's actually an 8 channel multiplexer as well. Heat sinks for Raspberry Pis and others that you can put on whatever you want. Two of these, you may recognize them. They are 8 6S lithium iron phosphate to iron. And balancers and um, LCD display so they do both they're quite handy and you can use them on your battery bank if you want I got two of them in spare just for fun this is for my old days in the RC world where I needed a clear picture on the video here I have two buck converters and uh, they give a USB out and input will be I think between 5 and 25 volt or something and they can give 2-3 amps out. Really handy to have. Um, here I have even more sensors and I think this is the see if I can read GI19 well and here is the GI21 here I have tons of breakout boards for the classic ESP8266 they break out for the breadboard. I think I have 50 of them. Here I have tons of, as you see, the Bluetooth, USB to serial, USB to RS485, uh, several RS232 TTL converters, RS232 to Ethernet. They are really nice to have. You can actually get it on Ethernet. Um, a couple of power supplies here. They are really nice to have for small applications. They give out 3.3 volt DC and they give out roughly 1 amp. And all those are 3.3. I, I even have 5 volt. I also have 12 volt and others. A tester, a component tester. If you are working with components that are unknown, this is a must have. This is a really good, good device. You just put in a component there and it will show it on the screen. Numerous on off buttons, uh, still not sorted. 2.1 millimeter plug need to go in as well. And this is also an interesting thing. 
many many relay boards and they are made for the Arduino so they can be powered from 3.3 volt and they are really handy to have for projects. I also even got several other relays that you can have for stuff. Um, those are 5 volt powered relays. And here I have another beauty, it's the Nextion display and this is 3.2 inch and that's a display that you easily can hook up to your Arduino or ESP or whatever you want. You program the display in advance and then it just shows the numbers sent from the Arduino or microprocessor. So here we have one of the more interesting piles. I have two fans for the Opus that need to be sorted. Uh, this is triac controllers to controlling like lights or other things, resistive loads in general. They are ra rather handy to have for smaller projects where you need to do that. Um, a bigger USB power bank with input and output. I think this one gives out 5 amp or something. And those here, I'm not mistaken, they are buck converters from 60 volt and down. And they are bought to be placed on my battery bank to power like 12 volt devices and other things. A 200 watt inverter, really really small one. I have been using it, it works. It is for a future project where I actually build a power bank with a battery bank. So stay tuned for that, that's already in progress. Several smaller buck or boast converters here. Those two are rather generic ones. Uh, you can set the voltage and everything. And the smaller ones here are actually for ESP8266 boards that I bought those. I think they can give up like 3.3 volt and they are really really handy for those things. A couple of battery testers here. One here that you can see and then we have multiple boards on this end that is really good to have for DC conversions in one way or another. You have the famous bigger one, the 5020. This can give out up to 50 volt and 20 amp. If you don't have such a device, I do recommend to build a power supply by built on this. I also have this device here that is a remote based monitoring device that you can monitor your current and voltage remotely via the wireless interface here. The length is not that good though. Uh, I have several DC CCCV converters here. Those two is a little bit middle age and this one is smaller and I have this bigger one here. This one I actually have been using. I think this is, I think this is the 6 amp 38 volt version. And one more. And then we go over to the meter section. As you can see here, I have tons of meters. Voltmeters, amp meters, uh, AC amp and volt meters with this current. They are really nifty to have on your panels. They I recommend, they work great. More volt or amp meters. This is a combination of volt and amp meter in the same. Several smaller volt meter and amp meters. I think this is a 10 amp meter. And then we have another AC meter here, another AC meter here, and then we have yeah another one there. And this is an AC meter as well in a smaller format. And this one you hook up to, it's like the big one, like still smaller. Uh, another combination, even more of them. I have many of them, I don't know why, but I have many, 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 even one more. And the plan was to put them a little bit everywhere, but I think I need to get rid of them. But they may be very, very handy for a project. We're here in this corner have one, zero, two, and one, two, three switches. And they are generally used for switching like an ATS. Because you can switch between grid and off, and then you switch to solar. I recommend those for handy work when you're switching between the system. This is a four phase. That means that you can use it for your grid tie or your hybrid inverters, for instance. You also have the smaller versions. Uh, this is not, not that small. Like this one here, smaller. Uh, this one exists in 1, 2, 3, 5, 10 phase versions. And I use this type for actually switching like between minor loads where I switch between them. Um, if we go a little bit further up here. I have three boxes here and they are jammed with name stuff uh, and I do intend to build a 
PlayStation or Nintendo console based setup for read through games. I have everything here to build two of them, including the actual board to interact with them. So that will be really nice. You hook that up to the USB and you have everything here. That's really, really nice. Um, and there is tons of buttons. I think I have every button needed to do this. So that's a future project as well. In this end I have a little bit more generic solar parts and 18650 parts. Tons of holders including TP4056 included in the holder. Rather need to have, I don't use them though. A couple of USB power banks based on 18650. Uh, this one I use a lot and this one shows current and everything like charge and current and voltage so I really like this device. Uh, over here I have the connectors that were used on the balance packs that I bought a couple of extra of, not used so far. I also have two 1S balancers left. If anyone wants those 1S balancers feel free to comment down below and we'll see how to arrange it. It might be that you need to pay for the shipping depending on where you live. It's really expensive to ship outside Sweden. So beware of that. They are worth at least $20 each or something. I have two solar charge controllers here. The MPPT2410. Uh, I have not used them yet and they are pending for a giveaway. I have three of those 7210A. Uh, I will give away one of them. Uh, the other two are for pending projects for a battery bank. A lot of resistors here. They were actually meant for building a big discharge station. But I did get hold of even bigger resistors. And I did a video of that building that. So if you want to check that out, do that. 14S balance board. I have many more incoming. This is the only one left currently because I have used up all the others. A couple of LED lights for indication lights, they are for 220 volt application, I will be incorporating them into boxes. I have two of these really cheap ass breakers that are generally crap if they cost less than $50. This is 100-150 amp, I'm still thinking of trying to test them out to see where they actually pop and how much current they can stand. Uh, unfortunately I don't have a device where I can set 50, 100, 150 amp. So I need to figure that out first. A couple of locks, um, electromagnetic locks. Uh, my plan is to have them, for instance, on the doors to the the casing for the batteries and the inverters. Not for securing them as such, but just just for fun to lock the doors. Uh, they are really neat to work with. Over here, I have a couple of more SSRs, uh, solid state relays. I have destroyed many of them but they are cheap and they are for testing purposes in my case and I like them. Um, a couple of peers uh, for actually sensing uh, someone in a neighborhood and I have a couple of projects that I've done before they are quite handy and they are cheap to buy and they work recently well and I like them. This on the other hand is a USB based um, testing station for testing USB loads this one is controlled via your computer and you can set different loads to actually test your USB port to make sure that it do deliver as it should. I have not been running this one yet and I'm actually thinking of giving it away because I don't have the time for it. So we'll see about that. I also have two um, temperature control systems here that are made for controlling some 220 volt output load based on the temperature. You can just imagine what you could use that for, but everything potentially. I have two of them, uh, I have still not used them, but I do have a project that I want to do with them. So guys, this is just a general quick overview of all the stuff that I have in my boxes. Some of them I will be putting out just to give away because I don't have the time to work with it, but many of the things I do want to create something with. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put them down below and I'll see what I can do with it within the future. If you think that I'm missing something, feel free to link that in as well, and I will see what I can do about it and see what project I can do. If there is anything that you ask about that I haven't linked in below, 
don't forget to put a timestamp of where I showed it and what it was and I will try to find a link for it. Um, most of the things here I have been using in one way or another some time and they are generally decent products and uh, those that are trash I generally throw out directly. So I want to thank you for watching, this was just a quick overview and I hope to see you in the next project. Bye!